This is Sharfe and I'm that for mom. first time that I bleached my hair. It was December 2016 when we went to Cebu. My first hair color after bleaching was color gray. And then the rest is history. I started changing my hair every couple of months. Now I'm thinking of what next color should I try because I've tried almost every basic color there is. And I've already tried doing some ombre. I already did some split hair color. So, if you have any suggestions, you can comment down below and I will try it because this month, August, and next month, September, we'll be having a lot of events because it's our anniversary, it's my birthday, and I want to go back experimenting with my hair. In this video, I will show you how I usually bleach my hair at home. So, it's a DIY bleaching episode. Here are the tools that I'm going to use. Actually, I have the old ones, but I wanted to try the new tools and see which one is more durable. So this bleaching kit and every tools that I've used in this video, I will link it up in my caption below. I will be using the Lux Organics Hair Professionals Color Plus Care Lighten Moisture Treatment. It is a permanent hair bleach infused with keratin. This includes 50 ml colorant, 75 ml developer, and one pair of gloves. And because it has a free applicator, it is quick and mess-free lightening kit. Aside from this kit, I also bought the Lux Organics Vibras Purple Shampoo and Purple Treatment. It also includes 10 ml aftercare of purple shampoo and treatment. As you can see, my hair roots are quite long now because I haven't bleached my hair since last year. It says here that it will lighten your hair up to 7 levels. So for disclaimer, result will always vary depending on your natural hair color. Using this product is just like using any other bleaching kit. You have to pour the entire color cream into the bottle of the developer and shake the bottle until it's evenly mixed. Spread the mixture evenly through the lengths of 2 to 3 cm away from the scalp. because I've been bleaching my hair since 2016 and I kind of get used to it. Also, my pain tolerance is quite high so it's not really that painful for me anymore. But if you're watching this and you want to apply it in your virgin hair, you have to follow the instruction of 2 to 3 cm away from the scalp to the ends of the hair first. And then once all the hair is covered, you have to go back and apply the bleach to your roots. For safety instructions, this product is not intended for use on persons under age 16 and do not color your hair if you have rash on face, irritated, or with damaged scalp. Conduct a skin test first 
and stop using and consult a doctor if skin becomes red, swollen, and itchy during use. If it's your first time to bleach your hair, you have to leave it to develop for 45 minutes but if your hair has been previously bleached like mine, you can leave it for 10 to 15 minutes. After the 45 minutes have passed, you have to rinse it with a lukewarm water or if you don't have one, as long as it's not a cold water. You have to rinse it until the water runs clear and then apply your purple shampoo and rinse. Next is apply a proper amount of conditioner on the hair and massage evenly to encourage penetration. Leave it for 2 minutes and rinse with lukewarm water. Since the part I'm bleaching is the virgin part of my hair, after leaving it for 30 minutes, I sprayed some water on it to emulsify the colorant and leave it on again for another 15 minutes using my head cap. So here's the result of my first root touch-up this year. Their formula is quite effective but it's not too strong because as you can see, there's still a difference between layers from my um, original bleached hair to my touched up roots right so I think the only good thing because it's not too strong means my hair is also still healthy and not too damaged because of their formula I think this product is good because it's formulated with keratin that helps soften and manage rough and dry hair Actually, I bleached my hair last July 3 and I let it rest for a bit and I touched up last August 3, Thursday. And here's the result from this to this. So here is the result of my second session of Root Touch Up. This one I think is level 7 or 8 and it's not bad for just two sessions of bleaching. If you have other bleaching kits that you want to suggest to me, comment down below and I will try it on my next Root Touch Up. And if some of you may know, August 3 was the opening day for the film Made in Malacanang. So after I bleached my hair, we went to the church. And then we went to Robinson's Gentry, which is the closest cinema in our place. So before watching the film, we just ate our dinner at Bonchan. And bought some drinks in Gongcha. And since we're still full from our dinner, Jasper bought some donuts for our snacks. The Cinema 6 was almost full when we went there. It was the last full show because that's the only time we're available to watch. It was a very good film with a lot of symbolisms. Some of the details were already known to us, whom are supporters of BBM and the Marcus family in general. But it's a really good eye-opener for those who want to know more about the Marcus' side during the martial law. And you have to watch it for yourself, so I won't say any other details than that. If you have any more questions, you can message me on Facebook, Instagram. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Bye! And? Mm. Nakma. Who's there? Gongcha. Gongcha who? Don't you wish your girl could have to like me? Oh. Asan? Gong. <laughs> Not bad, right? And as
as you can see my ears are healed now and I've already changed my earrings 